Listen to me, disciple of Kalan. The cleric Bertram has returned to our side. We give thanks for his safe homecoming and welcome him back among his brethren. now. If you're here to train with me, then forget it. If I see you running around with an upholstered weapon, you're going to get a very painful weapon safety lesson. You have to earn the right to train here, Initiate. Understood. That is what I want to hear. That wasn't so good. come here to pray, did you? I can spot the devout. And you don't look like you're here to ask for divine assistance, am I right? You're right. I don't need assistance. Ha! I knew it! You know, there is a reason why I wanted to talk to you. For all the thirst for knowledge in this place, people can be a little... focused. They want logic, straight answers. They forbid anyone from looking deeper into things. And that's crazy. I mean, knowledge is wisdom. Wisdom brings you closer to Kalan. So what's wrong with getting some answers? Which brings me to you. I'm betting you have answers, and I'm betting you're the curious type. I don't want any trouble. <sighs> Who's talking about trouble? It's a trivial matter, really. But then I guess that's why I keep getting in trouble. So, are you going to help me? Tell me your problem. Have you ever heard of the Prophet Arvid? No, should I have? Oh, yeah. He is the founder of our order. The reason why the clerics exist. Tell me about Arvid. 
Well, sure, okay. Like I said, he's the founder of our order. He was born about 200 years ago, we think, and he was the first to be enlightened by Kalan. After the comet hit, it was his burden and his privilege to lead people into a new future, to save those who had survived. The first followers were here, in the Horde. They had saved technology from destruction, and Kalan showed them how that technology could be used to help all the people of Magalan. They reached out to others, but not everyone listened. You can see what became of the rest when you look to Tavar. What did Arvid do? He wrote the rules that have bound us here in the Horde. And our ancestors began research on how Elix could be used for the good of all. With it, even though our community was small, we were able to defend ourselves from the malice of the godless. All seems a bit vague. Yes, I know. I mean, some details have been lost in time. Some believe Arvid still remains among us, although that is nonsense. Some uneducated people wanted to proclaim him a god, even during his lifetime, but he always spurned this idea. It is likely that he saw his time coming. According to the lore, grief about the unreasonableness of people tore him apart from the inside, and when he could take the pain no longer, it is said that he left the people with the words of Kalan and went into the Great Light. Scholars are still arguing to this day about what the Great Light is exactly. Some say that he rose to heaven to Kalan. Others claim that he set forth to find the reason for the crater. But that's exactly my point. I want to know more, but only certain scholars are allowed to see the text. But there's something about Arvid, something about those early works that doesn't make sense. And I can't work out why. But will they let me in the archives to study his writings? No. I sneaked in. They threw me out. I was lucky to avoid re-education. Concentrate on what's right here, right now, they told me. It is only possible to change the future if you draw the correct conclusions from the past, they said. Okay. So you need access to the archives? No. Well, yeah, that would be great. But for now, I just need a book. All that I want is a copy of Arvid's teachings. There has to be a written copy, or a recorded copy somewhere. It's just not available to us out here. And that bugs me. So, do you think you can get into the archives and get it for me? Who says I'll help you? Nobody. But please, I need your help. I beg you. I want to understand why they won't teach us these things. I would like to give you the following, in any case, before you are on your way. I am certain that I can get something from the recordings that will be of use to all of us. Then, maybe, I'll finally understand what our purpose is. Why is this book so secret? Because we are to serve Kalan in combat and not to interpret his words. They say we are missing the necessary vision to understand his divine message. But I would like to learn that for myself instead of having it spoon-fed to me. Maybe it's nothing. But I can't let it go. What can you tell me about the Archives? It's a store of knowledge from before the comet hit. And it is where all information found in the rest of the world is brought. Our archivists are attempting to glean all sorts of information from the scraps of data we were able to retrieve from outside the Horde. The work is very time intensive, so the archivists don't like it at all when people interrupt their work. So, they will have you thrown out if you manage to get into the archives without authorization. I will get you the book from the archives. Thank you. This is one mystery I can't wait to solve. Any suggestions for how I get into the archives? I've been thinking about that, and there are three ways. You could watch to see when Carl, the guard on the archives, leaves his post. That might take a few hours, and I personally have never seen him leave his post. But hey, he has to move at some point, doesn't he? Or you could access the security console and put your name on the access list. But the simplest and most obvious solution is for you to join the clerics. Teach me something. Yeah?
All who have faith will be saved. You carry Kalan in your heart. Let your... Stop! Where do you think you're going? What is this area? You are here at the chamber, the palace of sinners. Break the commandments of Kalan and Ignodon, and the chamber will welcome you. Can you walk in and look around? Well, as it happens, you can. Reinhold recently ordered that everyone can enter to see with their own eyes what we do with heretics. So, go in and look around. If anything will push back the power of temptation, it's what you'll see in there. Save me. Those self-righteous bastards. They should all rot. Every last one of them. Can't you see the truth about them? And you? What about you? Don't tell me you're planning on joining those lunatics. You can't be that stupid. Just get me the fuck out of here, will you? These bastards have got no right to keep me here. You're obviously not here willingly. No shit. I was kidnapped. So they could try and brainwash me into joining this cult. But they won't get me so easily. Fuck. Have you already tried to escape? Unsuccessfully. These bastards have eyes everywhere. But you do have a plan. Plan? I don't have a plan. Not yet. I just know I have to get out of here. I won't let him turn me into some mindless slave. And you expect me to help you? Expect? I don't expect anything. But I hope you can see what these clerics say about free people is bullshit. They don't care about freedom. They want to brainwash you. So, will you help me? I don't know. Outlaws, clerics... They are enemies at war. I don't think we should interfere in this. And you're gonna listen to that tree-loving throwback? Deal with your own problem. You know, too many people say that. We're all dealing with the same shit, you know? If we all came together, we could sort it out. You think on that. Stealing will be sent to the suggestors. Why do you assume everyone wants to steal from you? 
I have my reasons. And I have to look after my stocks. We're low on resources here. I can't go wasting them on thieves. And sure, it would be great if every acolyte could get the armor we make for paladins, but my eyes are limited. Only those who have acquired that rank can get that reward. I want to trade. Right you are. I'll show you what you can buy at your rank. If you wanted to know if the clerics could do teamwork, that building proves...